everyone, it's Amanda from MySewLot and I'm here today with a new video which is primarily a review of the Jennifer Lauren Pippi Pinafore. Um, as no doubt you're aware if you've been watching my videos for a while or if you follow me on Instagram, I'm actually uh, one of the Jennifer Lauren um, reviewers and uh, what happens is um, it used to be monthly but I think it's um, bi-monthly now she sends out uh, the pattern, these are existing patterns that are already out there to buy. Um, she sends them out and asks you if you would like to review. She obviously sends you, um, also asks for your size and what size you intend to make so that she can get a variation of body shapes showing uh, the pattern on different people. And she asks that you post a review on social media, on a blog, on uh, your YouTube channel to uh, enable people to make an informed decision as to whether they uh, would like to make the pattern but to be honest in your reviews and not just a bias gushing review so I've made the Pippi Pinafore and first of all I'm going to show it to you so I've made mine from a denim I think it is probably about an 8 ounce denim it's from Sewed by the Sea in Margate. I've made some previous makes in this denim, so it's one that you've seen before. I bought a whole, whole heap of it. Um, it's got these lovely um, pockets, uh, which are beautiful, and they're fully lined. I've just lined mine. I had some shirting cotton uh, that I, I liked the blue because I thought it would pick up the blue from the denim. So lovely shaped pockets. It's also got two pleats in the front here, uh, darts on the bib and buttonholes to put your straps through which I like um, and the back, it's got darts down the back and obviously the crossover straps and yeah it's got, um, my poppers are quite high <laughs> because I've got really um, a really short torso so I should have shortened the straps but I was right, it was right at the end of making the dress so I just thought well it doesn't matter they're just on my shoulder um, if I can also show you on the oh, other side um, I've used snaps but you could use buttonholes and just to show you what the inside is like the yoke, uh, the bib sorry and the waistband is lined it's got a proper button placket in there and that is also lined and like I say I've used snaps these are prim snaps and they're I think they're actually called anorak snaps uh, but if you recall I used these when I made my shirt dress and they've got a really good you can hear a really good snap and they stay together really well I made I think the size 8 and the great thing about Jennifer Lauren, Lauren's patterns is that they have different cup sizes so I think I went for a B cup I think I think I went for a B cup but the instructions in the pattern are really really clear as with all of Jennifer's patterns you the, the instructions are amazing I've said it before in previous videos they are amazing I think if you were um, a beginner sewist you would be able to sew this pattern because it's a real hand holding experience all the way through um, down to also the fact she tells you how to decide which cup size and it's obviously the bib that has a different size option um, for the cups uh, which size bib to cut it tells you how to measure you and to work out from your waist difference between your waist and your bust which one you should cut not obviously dependent upon your usual cup size so you need to um, have a look have a look at the um, at the instructions there. Uh, I when this pattern came out, I really liked it, but I have to admit that the pleats on the front, I was really worried that they would um, make me look like I was slightly large in the belly area. And anybody who's had children uh, <laughs> probably knows that that area is not always the firmest area um, and people who haven't had children as well um, so I was a bit worried about the pleats and how they would look on me plus uh, the length it's I think in the actual pattern uh, the length is on the knee 
I've chosen to shorten mine and obviously I'm quite tall and I do have long legs uh, but I really prefer this length I, and I love it. Um, I think you're supposed to turn the hem up by an inch but I actually turned it up by an inch and a half and then another inch and a half so obviously three inches in total so um, mine is two inches shorter than the pattern um, says but I really love it and I was watching I hadn't made mine yet because I'd, I'd fallen behind with everything I was trying to get done this month and I watched the Stitch Sisters um, review Hi Nikki and Rachel and it made me really excited to make my version because theirs looked so fantastic. So um, it was really, really shortly after that that I got cracking with making mine. Um, I have to admit as well, um, I was going to use jean buttons and I thought I had some in my stash, but I didn't. But I did have these poppers and I know I've used them on this denim before, so I knew that they would go really well. Um, so I just used those. Um, but yes, it made me really excited to make mine because theirs looked really, really lovely. And um, I think the same as Rachel said in her video, I have also made the Tilly and the Buttons um, Cleo pinafore dress. I've made it quite a few times. I think I've got three versions in my wardrobe. And I've always struggled with the um, pinafore, the Cleo pinafore, with the waist not being defined. And I find at the back here on the Cleo, I have a massive amount of gape. If I stand straight, it, it stands away from my body. It fits on the hips, but this area is just really large. And I think, therefore, as this version has a waistband, it really pulls you in and it creates a really nice silhouette. And I'm so pleased with it. I think I've worn it uh, practically every day since I finished it. So, yes, I'm really pleased with it. Like I say, the denim is from Sewed by the Sea Margate and it's my favourite. But what I will say is it fades loads, which I personally really, really like because it was the lighter denim that I was actually going for. And I do have my shirt dress here, which has been washed quite a few times. And this is just to show you the difference in colour. So this is what I'm actually going for. This is what I'm waiting for. I, I'm really looking forward to it being this really washed out, lightweight colour. So yes, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, you can also put normal dungaree clips on there, um, but I went for the buttonhole option. And you as well, obviously can use buttons here as well, but because I was using a denim as well, it would mean generally that I would need a more sturdy button um, something like a jean button and I'm, I wasn't 100% sure about having a jean button on my shoulder uh, but these snaps they're perfect I'm really pleased with them so yes a big thumbs up for this pattern um, it is all of Jennifer Lawrence patterns are um, digital only it comes um, in a PDF and it has a print at home version and a copy shop version I'm a, I have gone for the copy shop version because I don't have the sort of time in my life to stick PDF patterns together anymore and uh, net print is so cheap that generally you know that's what I do rather than sit there and stick them together not I mind but it's, it's sewing time but yes yeah, so the pattern uh, really great that it's got a copy shop version I think that that's a brilliant step for indie pattern designers to go down um, and the instructions, like I said, the instructions are amazing. The only area that I struggled with at all, and I wouldn't necessarily say struggle, I, it was just um, a technique that I hadn't used before, was including, the, the way the button placket was included was something that I hadn't done before. I've obviously done button plackets before, but this was a slightly different um, insertion to that which I'd used before. I'm not saying that I had any trouble with it, but it did cause me to just have to sit and read the instructions a couple of times to get it clear in my mind. But it was, considering the fact it's lined, um, and it's quite a tailored uh, piece, and obviously you have the plackets and the linings for the pockets and everything, it was a relatively quick make. It took me a couple of hours one night, and then it probably took me another hour 
um, in the morning the next day. So three hours in total to get it done. Obviously that doesn't include cutting out. And, but to be honest, the cutting out didn't take very long either. And it was really economic from a fabric point of view as well. So I would thoroughly recommend this pattern and I'm totally in love with it. And I've got some really lovely uh, pale pink needle cord that I purchased from Sew Me Sunshine in the spring in my stash and it's gonna be perfect. So I might add that to my very long list of makes and I'm sure everybody feels the same. There's so many things to make but so little time. So a big thumbs up for the Jennifer Lauren Pippi Pinafore. So also, um, I did get another couple of things made this month, not as many as usual because I was away. So I'm gonna get changed and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the next thing that I made um, was this. And this of course is the Libby shirt by right, Sew so Over It. It's got a kimono sleeve. Obviously buttons down the front and it's got this lovely um, curve to the hem and I'm not going to talk about this too much, whoops, nearly fall over, um, I'm not going to talk about this too much because this is obviously uh, my make for the Satisfaction blog and if you want to hear all about it and how I got on with it you can hop over to the blog and I'll put the um, description excuse me, down here, and I'll also put the link to it in the comments. Um, I made it from this really lovely viscose. Uh, it's a slab textured viscose. It's a navy, I'm hoping that's showing up okay in the camera. Um, and it's a really beautiful fabric as always. And I had some trials and tribulations with this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but ultimately, I am really pleased with how it looks. Um, the shirt comes, which I did forget to say in the blog post, the shirt comes with two options. It comes with a cropped version and a longer version. I went for the longer version. I also forgot to say, I made the size 8 for reference point of view for anybody interested. I made the size 8. My measurements are 33, 25, 37. And I made the size 8 and I didn't make any adjustments. It's obviously a loose fitting shirt and I'm really happy with it. So if you want to read all about it, hop over there where you can find some more images of it as well. But I think sometimes it's nice to see um, garments in the flesh so you can see how they move and how the fabric works for the pattern. Okay, so I've got two more things to show you, so I'm gonna get changed. Okay, so the next thing I made was this dress. Um, the lovely ladies uh, Nikki and Amy of So Alicious got in touch with me recently and they asked me if I would review one of their patterns. In case you don't know, they run a fabric online fabric store which also stocks patterns but the unique thing about their site is that they also have a few um, free downloadable patterns and they asked me to check, uh, test one of those, review one of those and the pattern was the rosy dress and I'll stand up so I can show you and um, I went for the, um, I think it comes in a, a, a tunic, I think it comes in a shorter length, mini length, um, it also comes in maxi and um, I went for the knee length. So obviously got lots of gathering here and a neck band but the nice thing is at the back and I'm hoping you can see because this Obviously this fabric's quite uh, busy, it's got a tie at the back here and more gathers and it also has, let me see if I can sit down, you might be able to see a bit better there. It's got an uh, opening at the back here and a tie, hopefully you saw that. Um, and uh, the patterns um, that they uh, are available are really beginner friendly. So the purpose of this pattern really is not necessarily to give you pattern pieces but to give you measurements or guidance to enable you to make your own pattern. So this dress is just made out of a metre and a half of jersey fabric. Uh, I really really love the gathering and across the bust. Obviously as I've said before I do have a small bust and I like the fact that it accentuates the bust. Um, there is some slight issue around the neck because it's made from a, the neck band is made from a rectangle 
um, so it doesn't have it's not curved so and also it's not stretched so it doesn't lie particularly flat but it doesn't bother me I really like um, the way the armholes are uh, constructed it gives a really neat finish and I really like the really wide band going over the shoulders and of course I really like the tie at the back I think that's really pretty and the fact that because of the shape of it it goes down into a V on the back I really like that so without a belt it is quite a shapeless garment and there's a lot of fabric there so for my own personal taste I prefer it cinched in with a belt but I think if you didn't perhaps have so much volume of fabric if you were going to wear it when it was really hot in the summer on the beach or something like that because it is loose and airy it would be perfect but I wanted it a, a little bit more structured so the fabric is really nice it's a viscose jersey and it was very kindly gifted to me by the girls at Soalicious hi Nick and Amy um, so that I could do this review and I, I uh, obviously emailed them back with my feedback for things that I thought might need slightly tweaking but on the whole I'm really pleased with it I have worn this dress already to work and I did get some really nice comments on it so I'll be wearing it more so I just wanted to say thank you to Nikki and Amy for giving me the opportunity to review it and obviously also for the lovely gift of the fabric so I've got one more thing to show you and it is a pattern that I've, si that I've showed you before but I'm really really pleased with it so I'm going to get changed okay so the last thing that I've made is obviously another ruffle top um, but it was in a slightly different fabric so I thought it would be interesting to show you um, how it hangs and how it works in different fabrics um, it's a buttery pattern can't remember the number I think it's B248 or something no that's not right anyway I'll put the pattern uh, artwork here um, but I've made it from this really beautiful double gauze which is from the lovely Laura of Material Girl Laura. Hi Laura. And um, I made this time the top version and I really like it. Uh, I'll show you it from the back. It's still got quite a lot of volume here but I don't mind it. I quite like it out but also I quite like it tucked in. I think it's a really great summer make. So I didn't do anything different with this apart from um, on the pattern the sides are actually curved um, up and there's sort of a slight split um, but I just did one straight, I just straightened off the line at where it was supposed to finish the length is really good on me and this fabric is a dream in the summer um, but I really like the colour because I love mustard and yes I really like it, I'm really pleased with how it turns out, turned out so that is everything um obviously it's not as much this month because i was away for a week and everything's been a bit hectic um and yes so next week i will be back with my plans i know it'll be halfway through the month but i'm actually going to film them now so i think it's nice for you to see the fabrics as they are and what i can actually turn them into and also uh, from my own personal point of view if i uh, make a video saying what i'm going to make then it generally gives me a slight kick in the right direction to get most of it done I have, um, I am reviewing the new uh, smiley, not reviewing, I've been doing a pattern test for the new smiley pattern and that's really exciting and I think that's going to be launched relatively soon and I'm really really excited about that, it's a really great make. Um, all their patterns so far have been amazing, I've been really pleased with all the ones that I've been lucky enough to test. Um, so yes, I'm going to jump off here now and I'm going to record my plans for August birthday month so I've got birthday dress in mind and I will see you soon thanks for watching bye